Hey guys, Ryan, Maniac P2 here, and I'm gonna be making this tutorial today for you guys. It's um, gonna be how to make random um, objects, uh, random cubes, groups of cubes in Cinema 4D. So uh, this is gonna be, a lot of people don't know how to do this, but it looks really cool when you put it into backgrounds or you uh, mix it in with other things like uh, graphics, certain graphics and stuff like that. It looks really cool to do it with. So uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. And um, so I'm not gonna show you any lighting or anything like that. I'm just gonna show you the basics of how to get them set up, and you can change the lighting yourself and change the colors and all that. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you today with cubes. <clears throat> you can do this with many objects. You can do this with uh, spheres, uh, capsules, oil tank, cones, cylinders, pyramids. Pyramids and cubes probably look the best, and along with spheres. So yeah. Alright, so let's get this started. Get a cube out, just for the purpose of this tutorial. And uh, go ahead and make it kind of small like that. However, actually, however big you want, but I'm going to use a small so that it's uh, easier to work with. So after we get the cube, we're gonna go to MoGraph and Cloner, or uh, find up here in the menu. Just find Cloner Object. Okay, should be up here somewhere in the menu. But uh, should be under MoGraph and Cloner Object or Cloner. Okay. So then go to Cloner <clears throat> and then uh, drag your cube into the Cloner like that. And uh, as you see, it did clone these cubes. Uh, but what we're going to do is something different. We're going to go to Mode, we're going to hit the Cloner, <clears throat> go to Mode, and we're going to do Grid Array. And now that makes a lot of them, and it's it's kind of like a big cube made of cubes. So what we're going to do right now is um, go ahead and make the random, uh, we're going to go ahead and make the random generator kind of thing. And you can bump the count up to 4, and then uh, th 4... 443 just for this purpose. I mean 444 if you want that much. But uh yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. Okay? Or we're gonna go in here and find the random effector. Just find random effector in here and use that. And now just make sure um, your random is above the cloner. Or you can drag your cloner into the random. So drag your cloner into the random. So it's like this. You draw it's like a drop down thing. And so now what we're gonna do with the random is we're going to um, go down to here and we're going to go to um, see it's on position right now so we can change the position randomness okay like that and zoom out a little bit and uh, so far it's looking kinda good yeah and uh, we can also change the scale random which is a little bit it's a little bit nice to do I'll probably just change that to three Three. You want to make it equal if you want squares. You got to make it equal. Um, I mean that that you don't always have to do that. Uh, you can just keep it at like that. And uh, yeah, but um, choose uniform scale. They'll scale uh, to cubes. If you choose uniform scale, they'll scale to cubes only. But if you don't choose uniform scale, they'll scale. Uh, some of them will be rectangles. Some of them will not be. But um, I choose uniform scale usually if I just want cubes. Uh, it gives that kind of uh, effect. And also we can do rotation. So uh, the rotation we can do as well. And this is what looks really cool. Uh, you just rotate them and uh, you just kind of you just kind of do that. And then also if you don't want them so close together you can take this and uh, just um, go to the random and go to the position and uh, you just change the position up a little bit. Uh, there. Now they kind of look they kind of look uh, not as close together and you can just incorporate this into your backgrounds and GFX like that and uh, obviously if you don't want them that small you can go ahead and change the uniform scale uh, down a bit so that it doesn't you know get as small so you know an uh, absolute scale that makes um, you know it just it never makes any of them it never makes any of them smaller it only makes them bigger so if you turn on absolute scale, the uh, some of them will turn smaller as you see. So uh, absolute scale uh, looks good if you don't want small cubes. So um, guys, this has been a random uh, object, a cl object cluster random effector uh, cloner tutorial thingy. <laughs> and um, remember, guys, if you want less cubes, you always just turn the count down like that. Okay. So. Um, yeah, this has been a tutorial on a cloner object, random effector, uh, 
thingy, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Anyways, that's how you do that. So thanks, guys.